And it's been one of those beaten down stocks, obviously, uh, COVID drove a truck through earnings. However, I would suggest as we're sort of getting towards the end of this uh, disruption, uh, they're not out of the woods yet. Um, they said in their uh, uh, full year report in February that uh, all locations, all geographic locations, there are still restrictions, some restrictions in place. If you're a holder, I think you, you should hang on. I, I think there's more upside than downside from here based upon what I've just said. If you've um, got cash on the sidelines looking to buy, I'm not sure this is the one right now. I'd keep a very close eye on it. Uh, but I think there are better opportunities out there in terms of the capital growth you're going to get from share price and then also a kicker from some dividends in the meantime. Look, it's a recovery candidate, it's a turnaround story. How much it turns around, well, that's, that's yet to be seen. Like you made a great point earlier about uh, we've changed the way that we, we shop to, to a great extent. Uh, we now do a whole lot of stuff online. That's been a concern I've had with, with, um, with some of the retail um, sector for a while. Like how, how's that gonna work with shopping centers? You know, the old style shopping center, is it gonna be the way, way of the future? It's um, like I'd prefer office or, or um, industrial. Downside I think is, is limited. Upside, I think there's upside there. How much, you know, it's, it's really hard to say. You wouldn't buy it today? No.